So, James, we'll see you now. The Austrians are convinced that the assassination of their Archduke was financed by the Serbs. If they declare war, Germany will follow. And France and Russia will be close behind. Much as he may wish to temporize, the Prime Minister will have little alternative but to support his allies. Sir James, I know my duty if war is declared. No, no, my meaning was that you'll have little time to succeed in your plans. You'll surely have to leave next month if you're to reach the Antarctic this season. Uh, the Endurance is ready to sail. Once she has been paid for. Dudley Docker, the chairman of BSA, has donated the funds to cover that. Of course. But uh, if Docker's money is paying for the ship, what will you use to provision her? I will soon have sufficient. I see. Swallows. Pretty, aren't they? Free as a bird, that's what they say, is it not? I've always envied that. Who's to say they do not look down and envy us? I've examined Lord Ivor's copy of your projected accounts. If my calculations are correct, the shortfall is 24,000 pounds. Is that fair? Yes. You've already mortgaged the moving picture rights to a film company and the photographic and story rights to the Daily Chronicle. So you have nearly half your expenses yet to find and nothing left to sell. I'm a prudent man, Sir Ernest, and cannot risk my money on an expedition that may never take place. And what about your family? How will they survive when you've used every conceivable resource of the expedition to finance its very existence? My family understand that the expedition must come first. And if you fail? I will not fail! You think the threat of war makes it hard to raise money? It doesn't make any bloody difference! If it's not a war, it's a peace, or the stock market, or the weather, or the time of year. It is always hard, because what I do appears unreasonable to other men. I know that. But I will be in Antarctica this year, I promise you. I'm sorry. Thank you for your time. Now, sit down, please. Please. I asked you to come here because I had to make a decision. After this conversation, I realize there is only one option open to me if I am to protect myself and my money. This is a check for 24,000 pounds. If I were to give you less, the expedition might never happen and my money would be wasted. I do not like waste. I particularly do not like to see a man's abilities wasted. There is only one condition. Try to persuade your other contributors to return to you some of the expedition's rights. I believe a man should be rewarded for his efforts. <laughs>